Where can you authentically introduce your uh, your product or your service uh, through storytelling yeah. uh, in, in, in an ad? The best place to, to position your product or service in a story is once you've gained your audience's trust. So you need to build a relationship of trust. Okay. You need to say something that says, I think like you and you think like I, I do. Yeah. Let's hold hands. So virtually. you start with that. You start, start with, with that. that. Start with a, a position of trust. Okay. Um, and then weave in yeah. your product or service offering and yeah. how it's going to solve something for them. Okay. How it's going to add value, how it's going to save time, mm. how it's going to save money, mm. how it's going to build knowledge, okay. how it's going to open market opportunities, whatever that might yeah, be. Yeah, okay. A great example would be there's a lot of food brands that do it very well at the moment on television where to sell the new thing they're making or, or providing the way of a food product, they anchor their conversation in the comfort of the past. So they talk about, remember when as a family you'd get together and have this as a Sunday meal? Or remember yeah, when you used to eat this or you'd love these flavors and you did this? Mm. So that's stepping back into the past, into the past relationship of trust with the consumer and saying, okay, yeah, we've got something in common. Mm. We both remember that moment and that time and we both have something to anchor our, our position of trust in. I see. And then we say, well, that's we're now here. We're both at that point. We both remember that and we both savor that experience. We mm. both remember that time as a family or as a kid and you build an affinity with that. Yep. And then you say, well, we're here now. Yes, we both agree that that's something we experienced. Mm. Now, I want you to listen to something new in the way of music. And I think because I know that you've listened, you've grown up listening to X, Y, Z, mm. you're really going to love listening to this new band because they're blah, blah, blah. Okay. Or this particular recipe, because I know you've grown up, you know, you, you love your pasta and you love your pizza and you love this and that, mm. this new kind of cuisine is absolutely going to, you know, rock your butt. Because mm. you see what I mean? You, yeah. you, you build something in the past, create an established, established presence of trust, and then bring the, the consumer forward into the, the promise of what you're bringing to them. Because the, the future is always is imaginary time. Mm. That, you know, selling a product to someone saying, you're going to love this, is, is kind of a, a, a promise of future, yeah. future feelings. We don't know for sure if they're going to love this. We're going to hope that they do. Yeah. And we have to position that conversation the best possible place of trust where it's like, uh, I know if you like X, Y, Z, that this mm. is going to be a good fit for mm. you. Mm. So trying to remember that, that with storytelling, using that timeline of trust to try and anchor your, your conversation in a position of shared experiences in the past that work, that mm. create commonality, that builds your, your present state together. Yep. You both come together and say, yep, we're sitting at the table. Yeah. And then drag them, drag them forward into the future.